Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Johnny's Vinyl Record Reviews. I've got another unboxing video for you today. Um, so without further ado, I've got just the two actually, but the two very good ones. Um, let me just uh, grab the first one. So, this uh, is a band from Pasadena, California, formed in 1974, I believe. By two brothers. And it is the debut album from the band Van Halen. Uh, very influential group, influential guitarist, obviously Eddie Van Halen. Um, what you might not know is when they started out, um, Eddie was actually the drummer and Alex was the guitarist, but um, they they kept creep, creeping into each other's uh, practice rooms and uh, Eddie was enjoying playing the guitar and Alex found he was uh, a better drummer than Eddie, so they ended up switching. You probably didn't know that. Um, obviously Eddie is one of the greatest guitarists the world's ever seen. Um, no one's really ever got close to the sounds that he could get out of a guitar. and. Uh, no one still has really. Um, it's obviously influenced a lot of great guitarists. Uh, a couple of notable ones being Nuno Bessencourt from Extreme. You might know that band. Um, and what's his name? Satchel from the band Steel Panther, uh, who were actually a Van Halen tribute band before they were they became Steel Panther. You might not know that. Uh, yeah, so this is the debut album. Sold 10 million copies in the US, I believe. <clears throat> um, and I'm actually going to, it's brand new this. I've not done this before, but I'm going to actually take the cellophane off carefully. So that's, uh, that's the best way to do this without damaging it. I'll just put my scissors in the corner here. Oh. Let's just cut along the edge, that's where the record comes out, I think. I think that should be able to do the rest by hand. No, I'm not doing this because I'm going to put it on a record player because I don't have one. I just thought it would be interesting to see what a brand new record looks like. Have a look. Oh, there's two things in here. So, well, it looks like it's the record, it's the inner sleeve. Yeah, well, it's very heavy. I guess that's what they call the 185 gram vinyl. I'll get it out of the inner sleeve and have a look. Well, it's a very good inner sleeve. It's got plastic coating inside the sleeve. We really designed them to be. Wow. So yeah, we've got Jamie's Crying, Atomic Punk, Feel Your Love Tonight, Little Dreamer, Ice Cream Man, and On Fire. Oh, that's side two. <laughs> uh, side one. Um, Running With The Devil, Eruption, You Really Got Me, and Ain't Talking About Love, and I'm The One. There you go, that looks fantastic to be honest. It looks like it's got some kind of serial number that's been hand engraved into the, the middle of the record. So that's pretty impressive. Let's see what that other thing is. So there's another, something else inside here. What's this? Okay. So we've got pictures of them all. It's just another sleeve. Two inner sleeves. All selections written by Edward Van Halen, Alex Van Halen, Michael Anthony, and this is the bass player, and David Lee Roth, who's the, the singer. Uh, you really got me's written by Ray Davis and Ice Cream Man. Ice Cream Man was written by John Brim. I'm not sure who he is. I'll have to check that out. Uh, 
Yeah. Right. So on to the second one today. That's well, the final one actually, because we're only doing these two. Now this is a band, um, very much from my youth as a teenager. Um, so it's an early '90s record. Um, one of my favourites from the time. It's still one of my favourites today. Uh, it reminds me of a summer back in the early 1990s. I can't remember which one, but the weather was fantastic, and um, a friend had a great big garden. We used to chill out, you know, drink Diet Coke ice, and we had this record on repeat. So that's what it takes me back to. This has got a nice outer plastic sleeve. Keep the record in nice condition. But this is another brand new copy. And it is, you can probably see already, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blood Sugar, Sex Magic. And yeah, one of my favourite albums of all time. I'm going to do the same again. Take it out of the plastic cellophane. Ah, okay. I think this is actually on two discs. It is quite a long album, so yeah, it probably wouldn't fit on one. So I'll get one of them out then, to begin with. So side one, it's got five songs. Side two, it's got four songs. And then, second disc. Side three four songs and side four is four songs ones you probably know are Under the Bridge uh, Give It Away that gets a lot of radio play uh, but to be honest the whole album's full of every single song great in my opinion but one to check out right well uh, well finally today I do have three singles that have been donated to me by my colleague at work very kindly uh, Simon cheers Simon if you're watching and he was actually having a clear out of his garage and discovered a load of old singles so he sent me a list and said you know you fancy any of them so these are three I picked out and they are Motorhead Ace of Spades uh, and side B, he's got Dirty Love. I don't know that one, but I'll find out when I get a record player. <clears throat> and we've got Fleetwood Mac Tusk. No outer sleeve, the inner sleeve on this one. Uh, and the B side is Never Make Me Cry. Don't know that one either. And then finally, Black Sabbath. Yeah, Paranoid and side b snowblind both great songs so yeah cheers simon um yeah so that's all for today i'll see you next time remember to hit like and subscribe below